In part one of this course, we covered the Internet of Things and cloud computing. Uh, it's now time to look at part two, which covers cloud computing. We will start by looking at, uh, re we review the course content and um, where we are now and then we summarize the requirements for part two uh, of uh, for cloud computing. Right, uh, you have seen the diagram before at the beginning of the semester or at the beginning of the course where we, it clearly indicates that the course is made up of two parts, the Internet of Things component and the cloud computing component with only one lecture or one topic that bridges the two which we covered in week three, which is cloud, Internet of Things paradigm, uh, which of course is implemented in AWS IoT Core. There are of course other Amazon uh, services like uh, AWS IoT or AWS Greengrass, which uh, now extend the cloud IoT paradigm to include edge computing and also fog computing. So uh, we have completed the Internet of Things uh, component of this course. We are now proceeding to look at the cloud computing branch of the course. And starting in week seven, all the way up to week 12, we'll be covering uh, cloud computing components. Uh, one thing you should, you, you, I want to point out here is that the cloud computing part of the course uh, is equivalent or slightly above uh, from a theoretical point of view is slightly above the AWS a certified cloud practitioner professional exam so we will run uh, the practical side of this course or uh, in parallel with um, the AWS uh, course as well uh, the advantage of uh, the AWS course is that uh, Amazon is undertaken to teach it uh, themselves, to teach their cloud, the AWS cloud component themselves. So you will be provided with lecture slides and videos that cover various aspects of AWS, uh, of the AWS cloud computing part of this course. So uh, by now you have been invited to join the 158335 cloud computing uh, s course on, 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 on the Amazon learning management system, which is based on Canvas. Uh, earlier at the beginning of the semester, I invited, I s you were sent, it's not me, <laughs> the, the, the Canvas system generated uh, an, an, an inv invitation for you to create your account so that you can access at least two learning environments. One is the Learner Labs, the other one is the Cloud Computing course. This is where you find uh, videos by Amazon staff and also lecture slides. They also provide uh, quizzes that you will be able to use. So in a way, we will be running these things in parallel. I consider the AWS, uh, Amazon's AWS um, material to be on the practical side because they are basically teaching the AWS cloud. Whereas in our lectures, we are covering the theoretical side without necessarily uh, uh, focusing on a particular cloud environment. So we are covering the general concepts, whereas the Amazon one is now the you are now studying AWS Cloud. Uh, uh, the, our choice is, uh, was actually based on the fact that it's the most mature cloud environment uh, in, in this. Now let's look at the required resources. First, you need the AWS Academy account. You only need one account to access both the Learner Labs, uh, which, you have, uh, uh, which you have played around with before in the, in the first part of the course and then AWS training and certification portal which will give you videos, slides and practice tests as I have mentioned. In fact, these are just practice quiz. 
uh, in future they will be integrated in the coursework assessment but this year uh, they are not part of uh, course assessments but you will uh, we will use them the, the to, 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 to monitor your progress or to monitor who has covered specific topics on the AWS cloud uh, and also they help you to prepare for the certification exam for those who want to, to, to be certified after this the next item there are, uh, you all have invested in the Raspberry Pi kit it it is a, it is quite possible for you to use the Raspberry Pi kit for cloud computing uh, but you can also use your laptop uh, for this course the advantage of using the Raspberry Pi is that it already runs Linux so it's much easier mainly because uh, most of uh, the Amazon um, virtual machines that we will be using are Linux based so uh, accessing them via Raspberry Pi makes a life easier on the client side for your virtual machines and even for a lot of aspects on um, on Amazon you you will find that using Linux any Linux based system not necessarily the Raspberry Pi OS but the Raspberry Pi OS is a good start for those of you. You already have Linux in terms of the Raspberry Pi operating system. So it's actually the best platform to use when, when doing cloud computing. So I say here it's optional, uh, mainly because you, you can still do this course on your laptop, which runs on Windows or which runs on Mac. Uh, but our instructions, our handouts, may not cover all, all, all those environments we will pr probably uh, use either Linux or, or or Windows now there's no particular textbook for this part of the course uh, so we will rely on material on stream and also that we are provided by Amazon in terms of online messaging again we will be using stream I am aware that there is discord uh, in some sec, in, in uh, especially on the Palmath, Palmath to North based uh, uh, courses, but uh, in f one five eight three three five, we have a teaching team that spans cross campuses, and not many of them are, are big fans of Discord. Um, I don't mind using Discord, but uh, for this course uh, this year, we want a uniform environment that all the lecturers can 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 access so we will be using stream forums mainly uh, we but students uh, of course um, whenever you are interacting with us you need to use stream forums for, 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 for the course for the remaining part of this course now uh, you can access uh, as I have said this the theoretical lectures at the university will be running in parallel with the AWS Academy modules which you find online um, I have provided a link here on this slide uh, which leads you to videos student guides and also the labs uh, some modules of course especially the first three modules won't have labs but you need to use that time to familiarize yourself with the concepts of cloud computing from Amazon's perspective um, but we would I would like you f for, 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 for week 7 to focus on go through the material on the introduction in the introduction section and then module 1 which covers cloud computing concepts which we are also covering this week as well in part 2 uh, and also module 2 which looks at cloud economics and billing this is particularly important especially if you are doing your project uh, using your own account a personal account where you have provided a, 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 a means of payment like a credit card you need to know how you are billed you need to know how to to, to avoid a bill uh, particularly for the labs for the labs you just do a practical and delete everything including security policies everything because a lot of those things are charged so that module too is very important to start that early uh, 
and understand the how you are built by Amazon uh, but for those who are of course not using their own account you still need to know how how these are built because in future you may want to develop an application that is cloud-based uh, it's not particularly expensive although you do pay monthly or whatever or whatever period or yearly but um, uh, the billing is metered so uh, there are quite a number of metrics which will cover also there will be a topic theoretically a topic on how cloud services are built so uh, although we ca you cover this on the Amazon side I will choose not to cover the concept of the topic of billing theoretically but until later in the course but for you those who are using Amazon or the Amazon cloud right now especially for the project you need to be exposed to how Amazon is billing right a uh, notice that the training modules on AWS uh, Academy in AWS Academy will always run in parallel as I have said the l but the labs will start from module 4 on AWS cloud security cloud security is very important in fact um, everything is based on sec security it's built around security uh, th this was done deliberately by most of these cloud companies because people are worried that if we use the cloud people will access our information and so to gain adoption uh, they have first of all designed everything that you do in the cloud around a security mechanism uh, so it is so from le module 4 onward you are going to to start the labs right uh, now let's proceed to a, a, an introduction uh, to cloud computing from a theoretical point of view of course uh, the Amazon material will, will do that from the point of view of Amazon so we will be looking at the concept of cloud computing what is it uh, we will also explain the core concepts uh, in the definition of cloud computing because the definition itself introduces some very interesting concepts that distinguishes cloud computing from general especially internet based uh, computing we will explain service and deployment models of the cloud and also the characteristics of the cloud and then look at the generic applications of the cloud in various domains and after that we will, we will conclude uh, by looking at the driving factors and challenges for the cloud this is only part one of uh, this week's topic. Uh, part two will be a separate set of slides uh, which covers uh, core concepts of cloud computing in greater detail.